to another episode on the my fragrance journey channel sa um so in this one i'm just it's just a roundup of you know september new notable fragrance releases so from usually um i like to keep it to designer mostly designer and maybe well-known niche fragrances so the month of september was a bit dry um but dry in terms of what i've saw out there new releases but i guess it's just the calm before the storm so not a lot of fragrances um to go through here so the first one from dolce and gabbana from their velvet uh, range uh this one is velvet zafferino or zaffarano right so note breakdown here is uh, the top of saffron tobacco uh sisters patchouli vanilla and the base yeah so it's f1 in the top uh tobacco in the mid and then you've got sisters patchouli and vanilla and man it definitely yeah i don't know you've got a mixture of whenever i see a mixture of vanilla and tobacco i just get excited you know the saffron yes um it's, it will give you a nice you know strong punch there but this is something punchy and just yeah a beautiful scent and the perfumer on this is uh, aurelian guichard right so yeah that's um velvet zafferana Z velvet zafferana from the house of Dolce and gabbana right and then the next one on the list is from the house of um, Carolina Herrera, the famous bad boy, the lightning bolt uh, range. Um, so yeah, this one is bad boy sparkling ice, right? So top notes are white pepper, grapefruit, so spicy, um, zesty up top. Um, and then in the mid, you've got vetiver, clary sage, and then the base, you've got tonka bean and cacao. So another nice note breakdown here. The bad boy range, um, I recently got in the original EDT. Um, busy testing it out. We'll do a full review on the channel very soon. So yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a decent range. I must say it's a decent range. Um, you know, it gets a lot of love and a lot of hate, but yeah. It is what it is so just the marketing uh, that they say about it here is carolina herrera has issued the new bad boy sparkling ice limited edition fragrance and its female counterpart good girl um uh, sparkling ice so bad boy goes with good girl even though good girl came first and then bad boy recently came onto the scene right the widely popular fragrance which followed in the footsteps of the iconic female peer just like i said is gaining the attention it deserves for its versatility interpretation of modern masculinity so it's a very mass pleasing popular fragrance um so far i think i like it you know even though you know a friend of mine just said you know it's a bit unforgettable but yeah you know horses for courses but i think as i go deeper into the range i'll have a better um you know perspective on the bad boy range right the next one rasasi hawas black right so the house of rasasi a middle eastern um started off as a clone brand but it's now doing its things i think these middle eastern uh what their perfume uh, houses are because are starting to produce their own taking their popular ranges and and sort of doing um flankers of them which are like nothing out there in the market sort of unique scents on their own not cloning anything anymore so the original rasasi hawas was a clone of the um, invictus aqua um, yeah, I think in Vic 2016 Aqua or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, um, top of pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot, so fresh fruity up top, and then cedar wood, patchouli, and jasmine in the mid, oak moss wood, amber. So fresh, uh, uh, you know, florally woodsy mid and base, right? So that's how Rasasia was black. And then what they say in the marketing here is. Rasasi Hawas Black for Men is the label's newest addition to their fragrance collection, building off the mass success of Hawas uh, has had within the fragrance community. Renowned for its bubblegum sweetness and unique bottle design, the fragrance absolutely exploded during the pandemic. Rasasi Hawas Black builds off that initial success, adding fruity and darker woods to the original DNA. So the original DNA was, like I said, bubblegummy and just yeah sweetness and just very popular with the guys um because it was based on the invictus sort of dna invictus aqua dna and then they recently last year i think there was a ha rasasi hawas ice and then um yeah so now we've got Has rasasi hawas black you know looking forward to bring rasasi into my collection probably in the new year so yeah looking forward to this um as 
well as many hopefully how us is coming up right and then from the tried and tested true um always releasing the tom ford bread so this one is amber intrigue right so amber intrigues um uh, notes are as follows the top is a date accord and olibanum oil and then followed by sandalwood oil uh haitian vetiver oil and then I've never seen so many oils in the top and the mint. It's a first, right? But yeah, it is what it is, right? And then the base of amber, amber, amber cord and labdanum. So um, I can't really put my, you know, no, no finger on what it would smell like, but very woody, um, yeah, woody, dainty, sweety. Yeah, I have no idea what you know something like this would smell like. Could be a pleasant surprise, I must say. Then what they say about uh, this Amber Intrigue is uh, is the latest to join the private blend line. So yeah, it's part of the private blend line, uh, boasting a robust Amber Accord that the newest scent to uh, from Tom Ford is set uh, to incite seduction through backing spices and deep woods. So I don't see spices there, but yeah they're saying it's spicy in 2007 tom ford unleashed his private blend line to the world encapsulating some of the best sellers today right so yeah it's a very popular and tom ford's private blend line is very popular and very expensive um gets a lot of hate for a lot of people that say that some of the fragrances are just not strong enough for what you pay for them so yeah and then um scents like tobacco vinyl neroli portofino tuscan leather are still kicking around you know so these three scents here um lots of clones of them because they're very popular i've got i think two clones of tobacco vinyl um yeah so someday i'll get it into my collection and then i'll do a comparison between the clones and the original and see if what people are saying about sometimes the the private blend fragrance is not being strong enough. Um, I'll, I'll see if it's true or not, you know, for myself, right? The brand is slowly added to the list with the brand processing over 20 at this point. So there's 20 in this private line. I know there's always something every month or every two months added into the private blend line with the success of Eben Fume. Yeah, Eben Fume is one that I'm very interested in and new additions like Black Liqueur, the brand's hopes Amber Intrigue can continue their triumph. Yeah, so the private line, they're always adding something like literally every second month, every month is always two, three uh, fragrances coming out, adding to that line, right? So yeah, that's the month of December, not so packed in terms of uh, new releases, but hopefully from the month of October going forward, um, there'll be a lot coming out in the fragrance space, you know, just in time for those uh, December gift sets and, you know, presents for your loved ones. Yeah, with that said, please like, subscribe, Till next time, peace.